Hi, my name is Holland Ziada, and I'm a New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film, and I'm also a Proud Phoenix Global Artist Ambassador. Today, I am thrilled to be speaking with the acclaimed Filipino-American artist, Chrissy Limos. For more on Chrissy, you can read more about her right below this video, but in the meantime, here is a sneak peek at the amazing talent of Chrissy Limos. how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Well, the audience has got a little sneak peek of your amazing original tune, X's. And I wanna know how you came up with that song and also how did you come up with the concept for the video? So I actually wrote X's during lockdown and I had this uh, guitar progression and I played a voice memo of it and it was gonna be a different song actually. And I sent it to this guitarist in London. Um, named Magnus Klein, and I had him track it for me for a different song, which was supposed to be called Frail. And he sent me the he sent me the track back, and I was like, you know what? I actually don't really like the song anymore. So I chopped up his track and made a whole different progression from it. And I just started singing along to the melody. And I was like looking around the room. I'm very observant when I write songs. I like to see what's around me and find inspiration there. And I had just had this glass of wine <laughs> on my desk that I had the night before. And I was like, drank a few glasses of wine. Should have been enough to get you off my mind, but it didn't work. Because I mean, like when you break up, you just like want to go on this party splurge to just forget everything and have a good time but sometimes it doesn't really work and you know I think I thought about all of the all the times that I would end something with you know with a boyfriend and it didn't matter how you know how many times that I go out and meet new people it just always I would always still think about the person so it was like that and then also knowing friends who told me things about their relationship and like I'm trying so hard to get over this guy and like maybe we could just be friends and I'm like yeah no no honey I just cannot be friends. I I love how unapologetic you are first off secondly your fusion of different types of music is so evident in not only in X's but your songs as well you have this pop soul vibe and I want to know you know where you grew up and when you knew you had this unique, amazing singing voice. Oh, well, thank you for the compliment. <laughs> um, so I actually grew up in the Philippines. Um, I was born in the Philippines and moved to the States when I was nine years old. Um, and I was surrounded by singers, my sisters. I have three older sisters and they all love to sing. Um, and I grew up singing at church. So gospel was around. I was very involved in choir um, and like I said, I just, I was surrounded by singers, um, specifically my oldest sister who travels um, or traveled in Asian countries. I know the pandemic kind of changed things, um, but I honestly, there was never a time when I thought, oh, I can sing like it just kind of, I started singing when I was four years old and then I just knew I loved it. And I knew I loved to dance around and sing. And I loved how way, the way it made me feel. And then I loved the way it made other people feel. Um, and it's, I feel like it was just in my blood. Um, yeah, it wasn't like- you couldn't, not, you couldn't not do it. You just, you just couldn't not, and it was in your bone marrow. I mean, I love the fact that 
it's obviously something within your genetics. And on top of that, Chrissy, mm -hmm. you do it with abandon in an, in an authenticity. And I want to know, you know, throughout this pandemic, obviously, we've all as artists been able to really look within to see what we really want to do. And, you know, obviously, mm -hmm. you did X's, and I'm sure you've written lots of other songs. I want to know what moving forward from this time have you learned about yourself as an artist and as a human? So the lockdown, I know that it was a lot, it was difficult for the music industry and for a lot of artists, but um, I had a really introspective lockdown. Um, and what I learned about myself is that I'm not trying to just chase the glory and the attention anymore the way that I felt like I was doing so I wasn't being true to my to my artistry I was just I would try you know before the lockdown I would try and write songs that I thought were like oh my gosh what can I do to make people like this song what can I write about so that people just like it I wasn't thinking about what can I write about so that I like it so that I love it and I can let my passion for it trickle on to everybody. Um, and so now instead of trying to put myself in a box and saying I'm a pop singer, an R&B, whatever, and this is what I'm going to write about, I decided, you know what, whatever I'm going through in my life right now and whoever I meet and getting to know their story, I'm going to write about that because I want to, I want to just really be all about connection now at this point, mm. you know? Christy, like, I just got chills. I mean, you, you're incredible for someone so young to have that type of wisdom. I look at you and I feel your vibe and I'm like, oh my God, this, this girl's a, she's a vessel, but she actually <laughs> understands that whatever story, like you said, comes to you, whatever rhythm comes to you, you're not gonna say, oh, but pop is in right now, or ooh, an 80s vibe is, it? no, your vibe, you're gonna want, you're creating something for you that you would jam to, that's your truth. And that authenticity comes through. And um, I, I mean, well, first off, I'm just like, um, cause you know, you don't hear a lot of artists who have that type of introspection and are able to describe it in such eloquent, elo eloquent and elegant terms as you did. And, um, you know, obviously you have such a unique vibe and so authentic to you. Are there any collaborations that are like, I don't know, if you were to put on a dream list that you would, like just artists that you would just love to collaborate with? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, for the bigger the bigger artists, I would love to collaborate with <laughs> with Alicia Keys. Honestly, um, I love her musicianship. I think she's, I think she has stayed true throughout her entire career, just like her solely creating. And you know, she she didn't try and I guess follow the system the the sound of like what's in. She wrote for her. So I would love to collaborate with her. Um, Stevie Wonder, because everybody loves Stevie Wonder. I, I think he is a prodigy. His music is timeless. Um, you know, like, I, I was actually just thinking about that the other day. Um, you know, we're listening to Superstition. We're still jamming to it. And it's been years, like years. So I would love to be in a room with him to write something. Um, but for the smaller... <laughs> For the smaller uh, artists, I would love to collaborate with Emily King um, and Alan Stone. Um, Bernhoff, I don't know if you've heard of Bernhoff. I haven't, um, but I'm going to YouTube him right after this. Oh my gosh. I, I'm telling you, I have listened to this man's music since I was a junior year in high school. Um, and he had this he had this video of him doing a loop video of a loop song called Come On Talk, which is his song. And he's just like playing the drums on his guitar, the back of his guitar, and just like, come on and talk to me. I don't want to run to be honest with you. Try to be honest with you. It's awesome. Um, um, and also I want you singing that. Like, I'm, I'm already <laughs> bopping, and I'm not a bopper. 
<laughs> oh, well, thank you. You're too sweet. Um, well, Chrissy, I have a question for you. So this Phoenix platform, you know, and I've been a part of it for three months now. And as a director, I've already started five different collaborations with people in Japan, Singapore, and China. And I've had such an amazing time working with um, artists in the East. And I think about you because you have this beautiful bridge already of, of different countries and, and cultures. And I think about your timeless music and your timeless soul and authenticity to not only the Philippines, to America, but the world. I feel like you have a world vibe about you. And I'm curious to know, you know, we mentioned some potential collaborators that you would love to possibly work with one day, both big celebrity and more up and coming. What would it be like for you to just do this Phoenix platform, collaborate with other artists in different countries? Honestly, I, I would love that because I mean, like what I've said before that I'm striving really for connection now. Um, and to connect with other artists and see their visions and listen to what they're hearing from different countries, I think it's only going to bring value to me and, you know, whatever I can offer will bring value to them. So I would be down to, to, you know, me and collab with any artist from around the world. Cause like the more the merrier, you know, like that's part of the human experience. <laughs> I love your attitude and you have such an <laughs> amazing vibe and vibration about you, Chrissy. I'm so grateful to have met you and I hope that we get to collaborate one day. I just, you're fantastic. And um, I just want to let, oh, it's the truth. It's how I feel. And I just want the audience to be able to read more about you right below this video. Uh, Chrissy Limos, you are a star and you have it. You have that it factor, not only because of your talent, but that relatability in just your down to earthness. It's uh it's really admirable. Thank you. I you know, I have to say I really, really appreciate that, especially today. Um it's been, you know, this whole year and a half has been pretty difficult for everyone and it feels like a step back. And even for me, you know, um like I don't always have the best days and I always try and keep this mindset. Um, it's sometimes I gotta, I gotta be real. Like I'm human. It gets hard. And today was particularly hard for me. I was actually just like trying to breathe and, you know, be present and feel the, feel the air, feel, or feel the warmth around me. Cause it's really warm in Jersey right now and listen to the birds and look at the trees. That's what brings me to the now. And the fact that you said that on a day where you didn't even know was so difficult for me is really uplifting so i appreciate that so much thank you well you you got me teary-eyed and uh <laughs> i better i better stop now but <laughs> you're amazing christy and um you deserve to know and be affirmed daily that you continuing to shine your light and to share your gift is gonna not only obviously heal you but you know healing other people going through what you may be going through oh thank you so much i thank <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Man. so much, Chrissy. <laughs> Thanks so much. You have a good one, all right? In the digital age, artists and bands struggle to make a living. In fact, only a small number of artists can live off their craft. For the 98% of artists that don't have the luxury of being signed to a label, it's tough. But artists deserve to live off their art. Wherever you are around the world, appreciation of music does not change. Phoenix brings bands and their fans together, whilst allowing bands to properly monetize their passion. The Phoenix app will directly connect bands and fans with no need for middlemen. We're utilizing the blockchain to give the power back to the artists once and for all. Join Phoenix, join the change.